Hey everybody, welcome to Cap at Home and Go Detroit. I'm Miss Rachel and today I'm going to show you how to make a whirly gig. So let's hop on over to the table so I can show you what you need and how to make it. Okay, are y'all looking at the ceiling? Yep. All right. So before we get started and I introduce the materials, I want to go ahead and give a shout out to our sponsors who allow us to come to you every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at 4 p.m. on Facebook Live with these art tutorials. We want to thank the Community Education Commission of the City of Detroit and General Motors for making this all possible. So today we have this whirly gig. It's a spinny toy and it looks kind of cool when you spin it real fast. So it's super simple to make. Um, really, our really young viewers can do this with a little bit of help. So what you'll need includes some skewers. I have two that I taped together. But if you have to happen to have some really long ones, then you just need one. Um, you will also need some glue. I'm using this one to trace, actually, because the circular bottom, but you can use a glue stick, which works really well. And I'll also be using my hot glue gun, so some parents might need to be involved for our younger viewers. You'll also need some scissors and some scrap paper. So the first thing that you wanna do is take your scrap paper and cut it into strips. And because I believe in you, I'm not going to demonstrate that. I already have some strips ready. So, um, you'll need about eight strips. I think I have a few more than eight. I think I have 10 or so, but this is an art project. We're not doing math, so it doesn't need to be just eight strips. I'm pretty sure this will work with 10 or however many you put on there. Experiment, let us know. Send us a picture if you use more than eight strips. So I have my strips. I'm going to slide those off to the side. These are actually, I'll tell you the dimensions, they are a half inch wide. And then I think they're eight and a half inches long because I used the short side of the paper to cut them. So eight and a half by a half inch. Got to slide those to the side. And now this is some scrap cardstock paper. And I'm going to use it to make these circles that hold the entire thing together. And I'm going to make four circles. And to do that, you could just freehand it if you want and just draw a circle that's about an inch and a half um, in diameter. But I'm just going to trace this. Oh, and that circle is cut off and it's fine because it doesn't need to be perfect. And then I have these papers stacked on top of each other. I'm just gonna actually I'm gonna redraw that because I'm a little anal. <laughs> so let's draw it more in the center. I'm just gonna use a pencil to trace it. But like I said, I didn't mention that you need a pencil because you don't actually need to trace this. It doesn't need to be perfect at all. So I have a stack of two papers, so I'm just going to cut these out. And these are just meant to hold your um, little strips together, so they don't need to be perfectly circular. That's not going to in any way make your whirly gig not work if it's not a perfect circle. And do the second one. And you also don't need to um, cut them out in cardstock. I did my example all out of um, a really lightweight construction paper and it still works pretty well. So whatever you have available will work. I'm using this cardstock because I have a ton of scraps. And if you are like me, you've used these to the end, throw it away. You don't need to save it. But if you are going to save like little square pieces like I do for little tags and stuff, make sure you put those away and don't just leave them out all everywhere. So now I have four circles and I want to make a midpoint 
for my skewers to go through. I'm going to use the pointy end of my skewer to kind of make an indentation. I've stacked my circles up and I'm going to see. Nope, that doesn't make that great of an indentation. But you can kind of just use a pencil if you want to make a point in the middle. And it kind of makes an indent on all of them, which works. But um, you could also just do this to each one with your actual skewer. So, and then you'll punch a hole out. Um, I found that using a tack is a lot easier. So if you happen to have one, that will work. So something kind of pointy. It's not required, but it does help. Makes it a lot easier. So you are going to take these circles and set three of them to the side and work with one. Grab your strips, put your tack back because I think we're done with the tack. Don't stab yourself with it. And grab your glue stick. And I'm going to use some paper underneath so I don't get glue all over my table. I'm going to put glue all over this circle, like so, and just start adding my paper strips. So like I said, you only need eight, but um, I don't think adding more than eight is going to like do anything terrible, so add as many as you want. So I'm going to put some more glue on these so all of my strips can stick. I'm going to add the purple ones. Okay. Got the blue one over here. Mm. Let's do another purple. Cool. So the next thing we're going to do is add more glue on top of all of those. Make sure our strip stays here and stick a circle on top to sandwich them all together. There we go. And we're going to do the same thing for the other end of the strips. So you're going to want to peel this up off the paper, kind of wave it around a little bit so it can dry and then I'm going to slide my other strips out of the way so I don't make a mistake and glue them in there so I don't need them I'm going to stick this skewer through here just to make sure my holes are lined up which they are looking good already Cool. Just waving them around a little bit so they can dry. And now I'm going to do the same thing to the other end. I'm going to start with one circle, add some glue to it. And let's see. I'm going to kind of stack it on top here just so I can make sure that my strips are kind of lined up and going the same way and I'm not mixing them up too much there we go I'm just adding them to this circle the way I did the top adding some more glue and um, you can actually add glue just to the individual strip like this I can just add like a little bit here and then stick it on. So it's a bunch of different ways to get this together. There we go. Alrighty. And now you'll grab your last circle and you'll add some glue to it. And sandwich those strips just like we did for the top piece. There we go.
And now you are done with your glue stick, but you'll need to make sure you have your hot glue ready for this next step. Let me put my glue stick back. Uh-oh, something fell. Okay. So I have my little pumpkin part of the whirly jigger thing here. I'm gonna stick this skewer in there from the bottom. Then I'm gonna make it go through the top. And now we are gonna add some hot glue around the top, the outside top and the inside top to keep this all in place because we want to keep the top piece in one place while the bottom piece moves freely so this bottom one we're going to kind of um, squiggle our stick around to make that hole a little bit bigger and now we're going to add some hot glue right here to the top just a little bit there we go let that dry for a little while. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the inside. And so after this, you are pretty much done. You can go ahead and twirl your whirl gig. Okay. Last step. Oop, oops, can you still see me? Cool. So make sure you're being very careful if you are one of my younger viewers. Make sure you're getting an adult's help with this hot glue. And you're all set. So if you have followed along with me, make sure that you take a picture of you making this or playing with this or even just the final product product make sure you email us at cap at college for creative studies edu you can find that email address in the caption along with the instructions thank you so much for joining me thank you to the community education commission of the city of detroit and general motors for allowing us to bring you these cap at home and gold detroit art tutorials every monday tuesday wednesday and Thursday at 4 p.m. on Facebook Live. If you've missed this tutorial, you can go ahead and check out our video library of tutorials on Facebook. They're also available on Instagram and on YouTube. Thank you so much. Today we made World of Gigs. I'm Miss Rachel and have a great afternoon. Bye!